Hey peeps, it's Scousmas here. Welcome back to our blind playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. Let's go! Right, we're back. And this time I've come prepared. Um, I have kind of done all the catching up back myself off camera. Got back to the engine room, ready to take on some tentacles. And this time I've taken everyone's advice because um, I, I was given a few tips. One is that they, the tentacles can't grab you if you've got running shoes on because they cast haste on you so now me sasha and al have got running shoes on obviously i can't give them to al because oh sorry i can't give them to bird because um he wasn't in my team but i can give them to sasha and al so they've both got haste on and they've also both got star pendants on which protect them from poison and poison and the whole grabbing thing are what makes this whole thing brutal so remove that and it's just like easy um <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed you're gonna see the smoothest thrust battle ever um yeah i would have put some people suggest the button wall rings on which seems like a good idea but um i don't like the idea that um that i wouldn't be able to heal myself that's the one thing in all kind of rpgs and stuff it's the one thing i hate about um about doing like reflect and stuff it's that it prevent it basically stops you from being able to heal because you could well it stops you from being able to use like magic magical heal oh i didn't know what i was doing there <laughs> i didn't know what inputs to do yeah so i've had a little uh kind of practice is oh bye bye bird see you later yeah i expect the bird to die um <laughs> i wasn't gonna get too worried about him Okay, and do you know what? I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, that's one tentacle down, baby. Um, ouch. Okay, so Al can still, still take a whack. Okay, I think Sasha is gonna do the healing because she's just not as powerful as Al. So I'd rather her, like they've both got cure too, but I'd rather her miss a turn of attack than him. Ba da ba da ba da ba. Yeah, so I don't like the fact that you can't cast Cure on yourself when you've got a wall ring on, or any sort of reflect, so I thought I'd just cancel out the poison instead. And I think this is already going pretty smoothly. We got one tentacle down, no signs of anyone else dying. I think what I might do, actually, is um, use a phoenix down on bird when we're down to the last tentacle. Just so he comes back alive and gets the experience and stuff. Bo -bo -do -do -do. Yeah, you'll notice I've I've finally taken the effort to go and learn some of um or to learn in my head some of Owl's other blitz attacks. So I can remember Rising Phoenix, I think it is, is the fire one. This one that does like fire damage to everyone. Um I can remember this one now, I can remember Suplex. And I can obviously remember Pummel. But, up ah, there we go. That's another one down. Huh? Can we just, I mean, what, what's her kind of regular attack like? Let's Pummel someone. There's only two left now. I think Pummel's probably better than the other one. Yeah. Just because there's, there's not many left. Not many people left for us to do the multiple attacks on. Let's Pummel them out. Yeah, see, that. Oh, I, I like boss battles like this, where it's kind of, you know, it's something that I really like about RPGs, where it's, um, you've kind of got to, you know, figure out the way around beating them, rather than just, like, plow and attack, attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, you know, there's, like, a technique to beating them. Um, I like that. And I did kind of, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have figured out the haste thing at all, but, um... You know, my very first thought when I was getting battered last episode was, okay, next time we're coming in with something that prevents being poisoned. Um, I think, to be honest, the just just if I'd have just got rid of that, that probably would have been enough to win the fight. The haste thing just makes it even easier. But I think just preventing them poisoning me would have been enough for me to win this battle. Right, there we go. Okay, have we got life? 
I don't know. Okay, we haven't. Or at least Sasha hasn't. So I'm just going to Phoenix down my man bird. Because he has been chilling out for the whole fight. <laughs> right. And then maybe a pummel might just finish it now. Watch. I bet you he just... Okay. I was going to say, watch him just attack bird straight away. <laughs> and then kill him again. Right. Bird is back and he's drilling, baby. I mean, it should be over even faster now, now that we've got three people attacking. Oh, yeah! Bird came alive for the finishing blow. Five magic points and Al learned Bolt. Yeah, so at the end of the last episode, Bird had finally admitted he's not Gerard. He had fairly admitted he's not Gerard, he is actually Bird. Why the stupid farce? Well, I heard that Figaro had had an accident. I wanted to help, but I didn't know where to look. Then I heard that these idiots had escaped from prison. You needed to use them? Bingo! I had to wait until they led me to their secret cave. Amazing, considering that you threw most of them in jail to begin with. <laughs> Don't treat us like strangers anymore. Yeah, I mean, you think, yeah, Al would recognize his own brother. Uh-oh, let's hide. God, who's coming in? Okay, boss, boss. I must have been eaten by that thing. Wasn't even much of a monster. Well, let's go. God, they're really uh, sad to see their boss dead, aren't they? Ah, oh, well, whatever. Leave it. <laughs> you don't want that treasure back? It's, com it's completely worthless. Besides, Kafka's the one we need to worry about. These guys haven't committed any serious crimes. Come on, let's go. There's only one little problem, eh, brother? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> What's the little problem? Ooh, actually, I probably need to equip... Um, Right, let's suplex this. Oh, what have I done? Okay. There we go. I messed up. I was going to say, let's suplex this dude. Yes! Have some of that. 1300 damage, man. It's insane. Good to finally uh, have some of the moves imprinted in my brain. Um, bum, ba -da. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to equip bed with some weapons. Just make sure he's got good stuff on and relics and espers and all that jive. Right. We're all... What? I was going to say, I wasn't going through the door there. We're all ready to go. Here's our treasure been looted. Oh, what? Received the soul saver. Oh, nice. Is this not the way to go then? Okay. I, I assumed we were going to just go back out that way. I guess we're just leaving now. I don't know where we're going. Oh, no. Not these things. <laughs> These things are nasty. They can just one-hit you. Yeah, one of the things I gave Baird was um, a curing, which just automatically casts regen on him, which is... I think it's amazing. Um, oh, Sasha! <laughs> She's just cured them all. Um, yeah, I'm a sucker for a bit of regen. Love me some regen. Um, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, see you later, boys. The brothers are back in town. Right, let's get out of here. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to find the way out. Ah, here we go. Nonsense, it's been fixed. Next stop, the surface. Okay. Yay, because obviously we got the engine room back up and running, didn't we? Yeah, I remembered I've got to put Baird as the guy... Who does the walking? Because I've just given him sprint shoes. Um, I hate walking around slowly. Also, it does mean if we pop to the shop here, we get our discount again. Has magic really made a comeback? Never left, baby. Magicite gives humans magical powers. Amazing. Yeah, so let's have a little look. We can... There's, a, there's an inn, isn't there, where we can rest, I think? So we can rest up. Get our health and magic topped up. Hop to the shop, top of our like items, Phoenix Downs, all that, at 50% dis discount. Um, oh, here we go. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing. Leaving town, I guess? I don't know. Do, do, do. I mean, we, we've just resurfaced somewhere, but I don't know where we resurfaced, so I guess just explore the place where we are now. 
Right, I have no I have no idea where the shop is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna head out. That's probably I've probably like bought everything there anyway. Unless it's changed since um you know since the last time we were there. Which to be fair, there's a good chance it has. Right. Clearly is out and I'm heading towards the nearest dot on the map. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And hopefully we're going to pick up a new because we still haven't got a team of four. You can have four characters in this and we still haven't even got four. Um, so, I mean, that seems to be the theme, doesn't it? We go to a new town um, in the world of ruin anyway. Go to a new town and kind of meet up with an old friend. So we've met MZ, although she doesn't want to. Oh, hang on. No, this is... What? That would be back to... That other village that we started at. Um, oh, South Figaro, that's the one. Because um, that was just before... Um, <clears throat> that was just before the cave and then sneaking into the castle and all that stuff. Um, so we don't want to go back to that place. I'll have to have another look if there's a, I'm a, if there's another dot on the map that we can go to. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, so we don't want to go there. I guess, can we go all the way over to the west? I can't tell if that's a bridge or what. I'm going to head that way and see what happens. Right, here we go. Is there some kind of bridge or something? No. Unless... Can I tell the... Um... I've just realized maybe I can tell the dude in the in the ship, in the castle, to go over to that island, though. Maybe that's what I've got to do. I'll have a... Yeah, Joshi was saying as well in the comments last time that apparently I wasn't even supposed to go to that Mobilis last time. Um, because apparently it's kind of, like, too hard for me at the moment, which it's a good job I managed to, uh, scrape past that, uh, fun baba then. But, um, yeah, apparently it would have got tough, um, I can't remember why I left. I thought I left because there was nothing else to do there, but maybe not. Right, I'm going to head back to the castle and going to see if I can tell them to kind of set sail for the other island. Hey, well, I'm back, I'm back at the castle and I've found the, uh, I found the item shop. I've got the, I think, debilitator. That's the only one I have. In fact, it tells you how many you own. Yeah, debilitator's the only one I haven't got. Casts weak point run. Casts weak point randomly. I don't even know what that means, but I've got a hundred thousand and it's a thousand, so I'm obviously gonna get it. We'll test it out next fight, I guess. And this is the guy who's gonna sell us potions and stuff at fifty percent of the price. I might add, so I'm gonna stock up now while I can, actually. Right, so that's all done. I did go a bit wild because <laughs> you know it's so cheap, like just tenth half price and. I even got some tinctures, because finally they're not 1,500 each. Um, I'm starting to think I don't need to be here. I'm really confused. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go back over to the left again and see if there is, if, if there's a bridge or something that I missed. Right, here is the dude in front of the engine room. Go to Kolingen. Yes, please. <laughs> Boom. I knew it. We're setting sail. It's such a weird system. <laughs> the burying castle that can put out underground. I mean, I'm not sure how how deep underground does it have to go to pass through seas? I don't know. Let's not question it. But here we are. We've got access to three new dots now. One to the very top, two to like the left. Next stop, Colingen. Watch your step. Right, here we go. I'm going to save it, actually, as soon as I get on the world map. Something I'm guilty of forgetting to do all the time. And then... Have to watch me die now. Okay, it's fine. These guys, I've fought these guys before. Um, you know, I'm guilty of not saving that often. And then I end up coming against some random en enemy who just wipes me out. And then I get angry. Right, let's test out this debilitator. Find out what it does. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, bird. What you got for us? Looks cool. Now weak against pearl power. Okay. Okay, so it 
it either gives them a weak spot, it either makes them weak to something, or it discovers what their weakness is. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Um, either way, I have no idea what pearl power is. Um, slash, you know, what, what has that pearl power? What's this weird little thing? Hello? Hello? Well, this looks like... <laughs> this looks like we don't belong here yet. It looks like we're going to another dot. Okay. Right. Well, that was short but sweet. Off to the next dot, peeps. Of course, we're, we're looking for Kolingan. And that definitely did not look like Kolingan. Didn't look like a town. Right. Oh, what have we got here? These little bulldogs. All of these. Right. Let's drill in, boys and girls. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be using that debilitator, to be honest. I mean, that's no big deal. It didn't cost me loads. Um, it doesn't strike me as something that's terribly useful. I don't know. May maybe it is. Maybe I'm kind of not understanding the beauty of it. Um, but yeah, let's go. Ah, we've reached our village called Kolingon. I always think these guards look like mummies. They always look like they're wrapped in bandages. No, she's filled with monsters. I don't have any place to go home to. Oh, there's an inn. Okay, I guess we should stop at the inn. We're not that hurt, but... Hey, it's Morris! Morris! Morris, you're alive! Come along with us. We're after Kefka. Ugh. I don't know if I have it in me anymore. What are you saying? I'm just a gambler. I just want to be left alone. This world's too chaotic for me. What's worse, I've lost my wings. Oh yeah, the airship. Poor Morris. Everyone's deserting us. MZ doesn't want to fight anymore. Morris has had enough. But before the world collapsed, you fought with all your heart. You were absolutely fearless. That was then. We could never have that world back. You want to live in this world as it is? No? And do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You in. Starting to feel lucky. Thanks. I needed that. Now let's go visit Daddle's tomb. Okay. Was that the thing we were walking past? We're gonna get us another one. Airship, that is. Sounds like a plan. I would love another airship. So much easier getting around the world when you go to an airship. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it was that little place. Okay. I didn't even get a choice. I thought we were going to kind of have to roam free and find it ourselves. Oh, no, it's not taking us there. It's just like, hey, that's the place to go, by the way. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Those beautiful days will never return. Oh, we're getting a flashback. Ah, is this a flashback to the world of balance? Just a teeny weeny flashback of some birds. Right, I'm going to have a little look around town, make sure, see if there's any weapons, items, all that kind of stuff, and then we'll head off to Daryl's tomb. Oh, man, I really want that diamond armor for everyone, but, like, three of them would be 45,000? And then I wouldn't even be able to buy vests or anything. Oh my god, I don't know. It's so expensive. Okay, I'll buy one set. Oh, even that's painful. Right, who's going to be the lucky... The lucky person to get that? We'll see in a sec. <laughs> Weapons. Oh, darts, dice, trump. Are these all... What are these? Are these different things that can come up on, on, on his, like, slots wheel? Or are they just... Uh, randomly dispatches an enemy. Sounds quite good. Um, I guess let's go with the one... That one only has a battle power of one. So I guess that is that... I don't know. Maybe that's some kind of luck-based thing. This has 133 battle power and randomly dispatches opponents. Go on. We'll get that. We're not short on cash. What's up here first? 
Checking all the uh, furniture and stuff. <laughs> Okay, nothing, nothing in this house? That seems odd. Right, I'm gonna equip this stuff and then we'll head out. Right, there we go. Oh! Okay, we're gonna deal with all the random encounters that are gonna come along. Ooh, what are these? I haven't seen these before. A deep eye and a moose. Yeah, we're gonna deal with all these lovely random encounters. Um, what the hell was that? What have they done to Modus? I think they've slowed him. Um, let's see. What? A slot machine? Oi! Three chocobos! Three of your finest chocobos! Yep, <laughs> we'll deal with these guys and then we'll head off to the tomb. Right, we'll see Chocobo pop. Yeah! Is this gonna kill him? Oh no! Oh yes, it does. Right, off to the tomb we go. Here we are. This person? She was your friend? Yeah, she was a piece of work. Nothing scared her. Oh, could be anything lurking down here. So keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Daryl's tomb, basement one. Oh, okay, is this like a full-on dungeon? Basement two? That was easy. <laughs> yeah, so for all the kind of Final Fantasy VI... Ooh, I know that guy. He was in... Well, he was in Final Fantasy X, and I think he's in a bunch of Final Fantasies. That kind of weird mouth thing. Although I think he's got a different name here. Yeah, I don't recognize the name. Mad Oscar and Exoray. But I definitely recognize that kind of that. Oh no, Modus. Okay, he's not dead. He's just zombied. Not quite. Yeah, I mean that's slightly better than being dead, I guess. Bum bum bum. I can't remember what it was called now. Oi. Um. Maybe we have to kill the plant thing first. Bah, bah. Or the, not the other, the other thing first. Boom, there we go. Bum, ba -da. Modus, you're a zombie. Enjoy yourself. Oh, I did just get an item that can cure a zombie, though. I guess we could use... Well, I'll hold off for now. Let's see how it goes. The tombstone's blank. Should we carve something? Um, okay. Seems a bit disrespectful. Nothing appropriate comes to mind. Ah, are we going to have to... Discover something. Discover some text or something around this place so that we know what to carve. Ooh, a power demon. Right. This power demon is getting suplexed. Then he's getting drilled. If he can even last that long. And then Morris is going to do something. <laughs> I don't quite know what. Oh, there we go. Did. Of course, I forgot when zombie when um when you're zombied, you know it's nice that you still stay alive and stuff. But oh hello, um, but you lose control of that character. I can't tell them what to do. Okay, have I just I've just like introduced water to this area? It seems that's what it looked like. I don't know what this means. <laughs> right, let's go anyway. I kill this dude and we'll explore on. Right, okay. Where to now? I guess let's just go this way. <coughs> Ooh, chest. Genji Hamlet. Very nice. I wonder what that is. Right, so we'll kill these guys. We'll check out what that does. These guys, just another of these power demons. I think I am going to remove Morris's zombie, you know? Just because I don't like... I don't like the fact that I can't control him. Ah, oh, he's back. Am I? Is this one of these things where I'm accidentally killing him with a one kill weapon or something? So he respawns or is he just not dead dead? I don't know. Either way, we're, we're getting him second time around. Yeah, and also you get one of those rev revivify. That's such a weird word. Is that even a word? Revivify? <laughs> Revivify? Um, anyway. Um... Yeah, we seem to be getting one of those, like, per fight. So, it's not like we're going to be short of ways of, um, like, turning them, getting rid of zombie. Seem to be getting one per battle, so, you know, let's use them. I guess that's why they're giving them to you. 
Right, let's kill this little flower. A little flower X-ray. And then we'll uh, heal up our team and then head out. Right, boom, there we are. We're all healed up and ready to explore. Oh, hello. Crystal mail. Hmm. I just bought some diamond mail from the shop. Equip mithril mail. Oh, okay, that's decently better. Oh my god, I've got a diamond vest laying around. Is that better? It is better. Like, quite a lot better. Um, should really be uh, <laughs> making sure I've got the best stuff equipped. Okay. Ooh, Genji helmet, of course. That's what we just picked up, isn't it? It looks like it's not as good at evading, but much better magic defense and much better physical defense. Yeah, I think Sasha can have the Genji helmet. And then we can head downstairs. Let's go. A sarina girl. That sounds like something a lady would wear. Sasha! Gaya Gaya. No? Okay. Um? Maybe someone else wears it? I don't know, like MZ or something? I don't know. Ooh. What's going on here? Okay, Mad Oscar. What a name. They, they really, um... They really give the enemies absolutely crazy names in this, don't they? Even by Final Fantasy standards, I feel like the names in this... The enemy names in this are special. Bum, 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 bum. See you later, Mad Oscar. Another Reviver Fire. We've got loads of them now. It's all good. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's a switch. Okay. What's that do? I don't know what that did. <laughs> right. All right. I'm going to kill these and find out what that did. Hmm. Okay. Don't know what that did. Can I hop on the turtle and get up? No. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know what it did, but I can't do anything else in that room. So, just got to head out. I'm sure we'll find out what it did at some point. I think going down this door is the only door left now. Bum, 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 bum. Right, let's kill these little flowers. And then get out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, hello, little tell. Hey, going for a ride, just like in that cave by South Figaro. Ah, raise the water level, hop on the little... Hey, let me on. This must be like the biggest toad ever. It's a toad. A toad? Why do you keep calling it a toad? I mean, a turtle. Um, must be the biggest turtle ever. It's capable. Hey, save point. It's a, a turtle capable of carrying four people. That is some turtle. Right, I'm going to kill these peeps, and then I'm going to go to that save point. Right, there we go. We've reached safety. We've saved it. And I think we're going to leave it there for today. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And next time we'll finish off Daryl's tomb. Bye-bye. Party outside with the wheelie bins. <laughs>